welcome back to the Tyson Tidbit series. Today we're going to quickly go through some of the steps that you're going to need to install uh, the Tyson extension in Visual Studio in a Mac computer. It's a little bit different to what you have to do in a Windows computer, so we're going to try to follow the same steps uh, that you're going to be presented in the website, but uh, just in a little bit more of an interactive way. If you're going to install the Tyson extension for Visual Studio on a Mac computer, where do you should go? The best place is developer.samsung.com. When you're here, you should click or just hover on build and you can go to the Galaxy Watch or the Tyson sections. I'm going to go directly to the Galaxy Watch. You have several options to develop uh, for Tyson, or specifically on a Galaxy Watch. Uh, but we want obviously the .NET standalone, so you can go here and this is going to show you the steps that you need to create your first Tyson wearable .NET application. The one that we're interested in at this moment for this video is the development section. So you should click here. When you're in the Visual Studio for Mac extension for Tyson, you're going to see all the things that you need and that we're going to cover during the rest of the video. I would encourage you to check the prerequisites just to make certain that you have everything and in particular obviously you have to install Visual Studio on your Mac. Um, it can be any of the different versions so community, professional, enterprise but just make certain that you have version A2 or higher. The first thing that you should do in Visual Studio is go to the Visual Studio menu and then click on Extensions. There, you can click on the gallery and see all the extensions that, that you have access to. You can click Refresh just to make certain that you have the latest versions and then you should look for the Visual Studio for Mac extension for Tyson. Then you can click on install and that could take you uh, a couple of minutes so I'm going to try to speed up this part. You can close and then you will have to restart Visual Studio just to make certain that everything is set up correctly. Now you can reopen Visual Studio and in the new menu you should be able to see Tyson and the different versions of Tyson that have been installed. Now I'm going to create a Tyson watch face app just to show you how it works. First it's going to ask you for a project name but it's going to be the same one as your solution. And then it's going to create all the structure for your project that you can see on the solution pane on the left. Right now you can have access to the different files like my wearable, the manifest, the XAML file, etc. And you can start modifying them. Now you must set up the Tyson Baseline SDK. To do that, you go to Tools, Tyson, and then Tyson Package Manager. You can install a new Tyson SDK or use an installed Tyson SDK, which is going to be my case because I previously installed the Tyson Studio, so I have all of that. Check, I just need to find the right path for Tyson. Now check that you set up all the paths correctly. Go to Project, Solution Options, Tyson at the bottom, and then Tools. You can see all the paths for the different uh, tools like the Emulator Manager, Device Manager, Certificate Manager that you can use during your development. Let's take a quick look at some of the Tyson tools working. Let's start with the package manager. 
you can go to to tools tyson package manager the package manager is going to allow you to download the different uh, packages that you need for different developments. So if you're going to use Tyson for wearables or if you're going to use Tyson for TV, you're going to find the right packages there and you can download them. Also different versions of the uh, needed packages for the different developments. So you can see the ones that I have already installed in my machine. You can install and delete any package that you seem fit, and here is also where you're going to update them. In this case, I'm installing the 5.5 wearable package, and you can see how the download is going in the progress bar at the top. Let's check the emulator. Again, you go to Tools, and Tyson, and then Emulator Manager. Here you have the different images that you can use to uh, emulate your projects. You just pick the one that you want to launch and click on launch. It's going to open it. It's going to start loading Tyson. That may take uh, a little bit for the, the, the first time that you're loading it. That's when you know that it loaded correctly and it's going to show you the default watch face. Now you can start dragging it across using the vessel to move around. Also checking the settings of the emulator, like if it was a regular uh, application and use also the buttons. So remember the top button is the back the bottom button is going to be the uh, off button. You can also change the watch face that you have. Although I don't think I have many installed at the moment. Oh, I may just go back to the default one. And that's it at the moment. Uh, you already have all your tools installed. You should be able to start developing with Tyson on a Mac using Visual Studio and the extension for Visual Studio and Tyson. And at this moment, the only thing that I would recommend is to go back to the developer site. So remember, developer.samsung.com, and you should be able to see the different guides to start your first application. So that's something that we're going to cover later. We're going to create a small hello world or something like that, and then we're going to check the different samples that we already have prepared for you. I hope that you like the video, and let me know what other topics you would like me to cover. Thank you.